Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is my first ever video, so it's a little nerve-wracking knowing that I'm videotaping myself doing makeup and I'm gonna upload it to YouTube. But we'll see how it goes. My boyfriend bought me a really nice camera for Christmas. I haven't touched it, so I figured why not try and make videos? I have so much makeup and I'm constantly trying new products. Being from Canada, our winters are dry and they're long here, so I'm constantly trying new things. Um, so I hope this goes well. I hope you guys like this video. It's on this look right here, Neutralized Fall Lips. Yay, fall! Dark plum lips, plaid boots, leggings, scarves. I'm so excited. Um, so if you guys want to see anything, any looks, reviews, any questions at all, just comment below. Um, thank you for watching. I hope this goes well. Um, thanks. Bye. Alright, so I've already put on my um, primer, which is The Pores No More by Dr. Brandt. Smell a little bit like tea tree oil. I don't really like that, but it does go away after a while. It doesn't smell like that all day. Next, I'm going to put on my foundation. I have the Lancome 24-Hour um, Ultra in the shade 140 Ivory Neutral, which is a little bit too dark for me. All over my face. My skin's not too bad right now, so I don't need a whole lot of coverage. And for this look, you kind of need a little bit more, but we'll build as we need, and then just use your beauty blender. For the longest time, I had no idea what this thing was. But I fell in love with it, especially for the winter, because my skin is so dry being in Canada. Especially Alberta in the winter. Which is coming. It is now fall. Now I'm going to go in with MAC Pro Concealer in the shade NW20. My dogs broke into my makeup room the other day and ate the lid. Again, just pat that out with the beet blender. Now I'm going to go in with my Sigma Tapered Highlighter, the F35, and my Cover FX Mattifying Setting Powder. And just press that into your onto your concealer to set it. I just usually put a little bit up here in my T zone. So next I'm going to do my eyebrows.
So I just lightly feather like to add a whole lot of shape to my eyebrow that's not there. I just have a few really light haired spots that I like to fill in so it looks like I have a full eyebrow. And that was using the Tarte Eyebrow Mousse, and I use Chope. And then now I'm gonna go in with the Benefit Give Me Brow. This stuff is awesome. It has little fibers in it that attaches to your hair. So this is awesome for if you're just on the run and don't have time to fill in your eyebrows, but you still need a little bit of color. This is great. Next, we are moving on to the eyes, and I'm using the Bare Minerals, Bare Minerals 5-in-1 BB Advanced Performance Cream Shadow. And mine is in Barely Nude. Um, normally I use my macro concealer for to prime my eyes, but I just got this from Sephora and I wanted to try it out. Um, I first heard about it from Coffee Break with Danny, and she raved about them. She got all three colors. So, of course, I had to try it. Let me just wipe that all over your lid. And pat it out. This stuff is great because it just, um, it evens out the tone of your skin. It's also an SPF. Gotta protect those eyelids from the sun. You can just see how it takes away all my veins, all my dark purples. Like, I don't know if you can see that vein out there. It's not okay. I feel so awkward because this is my first video and I feel weird talking to nobody. Now I'm going to go in with the Naked Urban Decay Basics, the first one. And I'm going to use WOS. I have no clue what that stands for. Hi puppies. And just pat that all over the lid. I haven't quite decided if I want to go with a matte look on the eyes or if I want to add a little bit of shimmer to it. Next I'm going to go in with Naked 2 and a clean blending brush. Not really clean, just going to say it is. And just blend that into the crease. We're kind of going for a more neutral eye, but you still want to exaggerate that crease so you're not just flat. Now I'm going to go in with the color Faint and a crease brush. It 
a little darker than I wanted. But that's okay. Just blend it out. <laughs> All right, so I finished my wing liner. Seriously, I wish I could figure out a faster way to do wing liner, but I'm such a perfectionist that I don't think that there's any way that I could do wing liner that wouldn't take me so long. So next we're gonna do the under eye and just buff it out a little bit. We're gonna go in again with a little bit of the faint and a little bit of naked. Just buff out that under eye. A little smoky. Now we're going to move on to eyelashes. So today I'm going to use Urban Decay Perversion. I just got a little tester and I'm almost all done. Um, we're going to take a trip to the city here soon, so I think I'm going to get another one because this mascara is fantastic. very odd that the world is going to be watching me put on mascara. I'm trying not to open up my mouth. And always remember to put it on your bottom lashes as well. So the eyes are done. We're gonna go back in and do a little bit of highlight. Um, but next we are moving on to bronzer. It's not quite winter yet, so I'm not gonna pull out the heavy contour. So we're just gonna lightly, with a little bit of the Hula bronzer, of course. A little bit on the temples, so I'm not a complete lighty. And next we are going to go in with the best blushes of life. If you guys haven't used these already, you need to get some. They're the Hourglass and in the Ambient Light Blush, I have Mood Exposure. Can't really see that. But look at that. This is the perfect neutral color, especially for a look like this. So I'm just going to go in with this random angle brush. Blush brush. Slightly go the cheeks. These blushes are very easily heavy handed, so you have to be very light with them unless you want a crazy look. Now we're gonna go in with Becca highlighter. Every YouTuber talks about it. It's worth it, it really is. And I have the color Moonstone. Just go in with a fan brush. This is just the Sonia Kashuk. Kashuk. Dab it lightly. Apparently too light.
And then I'm going to go in with under eye just a little bit on the inner tear duct now for the fun part So today I'm using the NYX Retractable Lip Liner, and this is in the color Plum. Um, so the lipstick I'm going to use today is the Urban Decay, and I believe it's like the Revolution lipsticks. Um, this one is called Shame. You can see that. In the focus? No. no. This is such a beautiful color, especially for fall, and I love my fall dark lips. You'll probably see a lot of that. And there's a finished look for fall. Thanks for watching.